The renamed King and King Architecture Library is now open. Citrus TV reporter Anna Azalian is live outside the library. Anna? Yeah, guys, I'm here at the newly reopened and renovated King and King Architecture Library. Now, it's actually been opening open since the beginning of the semester, but the official dedication was today at about 3 p.m., and Russell King was at that dedication. Now, he is the SU Architecture alum who provided the financial gift that made this library possible. Now, this not only allowed for the renovations in the library right behind me, but also future upkeep and renovations. They even already have something planned, possibly replacing the carpets this summer. Library. And uh, sorry, I know that we're having some technical difficulties. What's new about the library? Yeah, so most notably is HVAC. Not only will students be kept warm in the winter, but now with air conditioning, they'll be kept cool in the summer. There's also new bookshelves, furniture, artwork, and all of the three spaces in the library have been a little bit more specialized. And I actually spoke with the library dean, and he has a little bit more to say about this collections and study space, there's better space for consulting with the, the, the librarians, and then there's a, a, a much improved um, room that can be used for seminars, for small group meetings, um, for interdisciplinary work. So it, it really took all of the things that we were seeing and allowed us to, to actually instantiate those in, in the architecture. And Anna, has the King family designed anything else for the university? Yeah, so King & King Architecture is actually the oldest architecture firm in Syracuse. They were founded two years before Syracuse University, and they designed the first three buildings on our campus, and Russell King himself designed Bird Library. I spoke with the architecture dean, and he has a little bit more about that. But you could say that by far they have built more square footage on this campus than, than anyone else. Um, and Russ King himself was responsible for Bird Library. So, so, so libraries are important for universities. They're important for us. They're especially important for us. Um, and that's why he was so excited to, to help us with this, with this. So a lot of the King family was at the dedication earlier this afternoon. But as you can probably see behind me, it's calmed down quite a bit. So any students, especially architecture students that might have some studying or projects to work on, this library is officially open for business. Well, that's Anna Azalian outside the new King and King Architecture Library. Anna, thank you. Thank you.